here from Angel Rose Designs here on YouTube. And today is Scrap It Thursday with Mrs. Gigi right over there. Hello, hello. And we're going to do one round of prompts. And then we're going to go with doing whatever we want with scraps. So let's Fun get this show on the road. Let me see if it came up on YouTube. Yes, mm -hmm. you're up on YouTube. And please make sure you're on live chat, not top chat, so we can see the comments. And please do give this video a thumbs up. And also share this video out. Because it really does help our channel so when you do that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I got my ginger ale next to me, so. And I have my chocolate covered raisins just in case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so. We're going to start off with the prompt game. Let me get to my glue. I'm mm -hmm. still not using my glue gun yet. I'm still taking it easy with my hand. Yeah. Until after PT. So, that's going to be a lot to do. So, let's get started. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, wh what do I want to do? Do I want to have a page? Do I want well, to Well, let's see if it starts out with a background today. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Card number the one. For round of one. Mm -hmm. We start off with numbers. Ooh. Good start, right? We got our background. Oh, hello and good morning, Candy. Hi, Miss Candy. Numbers. Hmm. Does that mean that I can use the... Miss okay. Candy, you mind writing the... Typing in the prompts for us, please? And thank you. My dear lady. I'm thinking about doing the numbers from the, from the it's tiny but from the index on my my little challengey thing that I had going on. Mm-hmm. You know. Thank I, you, Miss Candy. So these are tiny, tiny little. It, it's from a magazine, so it's kind of the page numbers in, in the index. Number 100. And I love the, the, the text here, really. You know, the text. Hi, Miss like, Talisha. Oh, hello, and good morning. Let me put this where everybody can see it. Hi, Miss Margaret. Now, these are really tiny, so let's see. We already had a hundred there. A couple of more. Oh, let's see. Fumble started these. And. I'm going to show you because they are extremely tiny. You know, the page numbers like this. Yeah, the first prompt is uh, numbers. Well, that's a good way to do the numbers all in a row. Let me see. All the numbers on here I'm putting on here is uh, meaningful numbers to me. Hmm. No, oh, that one didn't come out the way I wanted it. I was thinking about it, like you know the the numbers on the page. Look how tiny they are. They are really, really, really tiny. <laughs> You look like you built uh, some blocks, some Legos with that paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
actually just going to glue them randomly around. But it is a nice way of using, using it up. And if anyone needs an alternative, please let me know. And I'll give you an alternative uh, uh, prompt. I can't even speak today. I woke up all tongue twisted. Oh, you did it. <laughs> Some days. So. Well, when you wake up dizzy for three mornings in a row. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Margaret, one fish, two fish, three fish. Huh? I don't want to know the next one. Oh, it's like so tiny that I can't really. Oh. I don't know if they are visible. No, they are. Put it the first time at one ten. I do have a couple more, so I'm going to use them on the other side of all this. Have anything planned for the weekend? No. My fun my my thing for fun for the weekend is getting my room closer to being finished. Mm hmm Well we have a heat wave going. We are supposed to be ninety three degrees today. And so <sighs> far it's only ten AM. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you the temperature. Oh, wow. You know, now we are going, like, towards autumn and... 10 a.m. Here's the temperature. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow, look. <laughs> my logo's in the background. <laughs> and actually, my phone's a teal color, but it looks green on the computer. Mm hmm Yeah, we're having a major heat wave today and tomorrow. And that equals to Vanessa to be staying home. Mm-hmm. You know, we are going down into the 80s now, like temperature, like, you know, it's, and I'm going to, I'm thinking like within two weeks, we might even go into like the 60s, wow. 70s, something, because it's going kind of rapid when it's when it's starting so the fall is close uh, closing it's kind of like closing down the whole thing. than us so far and, and i am in jersey uh if you go 45 minutes to an hour away from me they're like five degrees higher so hour 82 they already at 92. oh wow i'll i'll do that let me see let me see if i can find their temperatures an hour from me okay let me see no i wish we had a little more you know we have if we are lucky mm -hmm. we have Two and a half, maybe three oh, months. They're actually oh. lighter than us. They're cooler than we are. Oh, they are? No, actually, no, wait. What were we at? 82? They're, yeah, they're a degree cooler than us. Boston's at 81. Hmm. So they're actually cooler than us. No, actually, 
my town here, the town I'm in is right here. We're at 81, so Boston is the same exact temperature. Yeah, and then you think you're like hotter than us? Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm going to do something here. Here's New York. This is where Miss Margaret's at. Yep. They're a degree higher than us. Well, y'all higher, a little bit higher than us. Y'all three degrees higher. Candy. Yeah, and then. Oh, yeah, where are you? 10 o'clock, so. Kalisha, where are you located? Let's see. Louisiana. She's having she too much fun with Louisiana. numbers over there. They're sticking to us. <laughs> they are so tiny. And then again, oh, wow. you know, then comes Louisiana. She's in Louisiana. Louisiana. I can give you a temperature for Louisiana right now. Yeah, she's, she said she, she had like 81. Oh, wow. I'm originally from Louisiana, Talisa. This is the part of Louisiana I come from. And they're 82. And their high is 86. Oh, they can give me that temperature. Leave it wherever it is. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Where did I put? Next prompt is... Mrs. Gigi, we seem to be having a thing with dots today this week. Oh, is the prompt dot a dot dot ooh? Yeah, we're having a, a thing with dots this week. Yep. Dots and circles instead of hexagons. That is a good thing though. <laughs> oh, so that's only twenty five minutes from you, Miss Talisa? Wow. Sometimes things are closer than you know they look. I actually met one person online, and we talked and things, and we realized that you know, this person is living on the same street as my parents, <laughs> and you know, I know the the next door neighbor, but I don't really know the you know the neighbors around the street and everything like that where my parents mm -hmm. live and when i realized like oh well world are a little bit smaller than you would think sometimes yes. now everything is like gluing I, i'm like all glued up from from my own little project earlier too. If only I still lived in Louisiana, me and Miss Talisa could be crafting together. That would have been a lot of fun. I like I like the beauty of the internet. Because, you know, all the way around the world, we are gathered up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But it, it is nice to have maybe a crafting friend nearby, too. Mm-hmm. See, there's nobody in my area that crafts that I know of. Mm -hmm. So I just hmm, stay by myself. So dot, you said dots. Hmm. I'm like looking at this. I don't know. <laughs> I want to 
have. Oh, bye, love you. <laughs> Green dots in certain parts of this thing. Be good. You here? So I'm doing it around like this. And some over here. And down here. Yeah. That's true. Take pictures with them and post them. That'd be good for memories. I'll be right back. Gotta get another ginger ale. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking with that temperature, like, you know, it was a couple of weeks like that for me here in Sweden in July, first week of August. July is usually the, that um, month of the year when we have the highest temperatures, and it was like ready for number five, a hundred something. But then I'm now it's paper going out. down fast. Oh, there you go. John in the sun, Miss Talisha. Next one, color pencils. <laughs> oh. I just happen to have one here from Dolly and Rooney. Mm -hmm. I have another one somewhere. I have color pencils everywhere, trust me. I have Arteza ones. Oh. Why do I have my. Have some Why do I have, have mine? <laughs> I thought I've been cleaning. You but... see, I knew there was a reason I had to get really prepped this morning. Mm hmm. <laughs> Someone told me I need to be prepared for today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sometimes you need it like that. Um, colored pencil, you say. What to do, what to do. I'm thinking bold. Green thing here. Going kind of circle -y. not a hundred percent, but around all these dotty things. Mine looks like the sprinkles on a birthday cake. It could be Heather's birthday cake for today. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I wish she was in here. Oh, no, she is celebrating away. I, I want to see a lot of things out of the now. house today, but with this heat, uh-uh. I'm not going nowhere but my air-conditioned apartment. Mm-hmm. I'm staying home. <laughs> if I go somewhere, I better have an air conditioner in it. Yeah. <laughs> I know yesterday, um, the fire department was calling the, the people in town, letting them know 
that there was a place that they can go to yesterday for to cool down. Hmm. For those that don't have air conditioner. And that's yeah. one way I'm lucky today. That I have an air conditioner. Ooh. Definitely. Check out Mrs. Gigi. Go, Mrs. Gigi. You're making that background look good. <laughs> okay, problem number four. <laughs> Something vintage. Ooh. Uh oh. Vintage. Vintage. Well, looking into the Tim Holtz thing that I have right beside me here, thing that I never mm -hmm. ever kind of, you know, I use it, but it rarely. So I have it, and I need. What about Tim Holtz it. people? They're vintage, yeah, right? Yeah, I do have that, but I also have this one. I, I've taken kind of like two, maybe three things from it. I need to use it. So it, it isn't really vintage, but it's, it is, you know. Yeah, in a way it's not, in a way it is. Hey, you got two for one, it's good enough for me. I got some vintage Ooh, I, here. I, wish, I can put that on there. You know, it has all these kind of stickers. But, I'm going to have to wait a bit to see what the next three prompts bring us. Or I can also, oh, I'm going to use that. I like that better. So I got to wait for the next couple of prompts to see what it brings us. Okay, Miss Talisha. Mm -hmm. Did you see what I'm thinking? Let's put this like this. Ooh. And then have a oh, whole scene you. down here. So this is going to hold off for now. To see what else we got. I'm what thinking. else we got? What else we can get out of this, this book here? Be a thing. No, no, definitely not. Oh, dear. Um. <laughs> I oh dear, I don't really Mrs. know. Mrs. Gigi, mm -hmm. we're in for colors today. The next one's paint pen. What? <laughs> you know, I'm going in with this. Oh, typewriter, yes. But I'm going to you know what I would do? Mm -hmm. I would photocopy that. Yep. Too late for that. I'm cutting it. <laughs> Why do it, does this always happen to me? Oh my god, no. Oh what? dear. Paint pen. Hmm. Hang on, I gotta contact my niece. Oh no, what? That's nothing serious. No, I just, I just got a message. My cousin, my cousin's dad passed away this morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear. Oh no, things like that. Hmm. This is the one that was supposed to come for a visit, but everybody told her to stay there with her grandfather because he was in the, he tested positive for COVID and he had it so bad that he was in ICU. Oh, oh I'm so sorry about that. Thank you. Paint pen. Do I'm thinking like watercolor pens? Do they count as paint pens? Hmm. A 
now my photos where do i have them and just exactly now realized i have them right here it's like oh boy i lost a friend yesterday my cousin's dad this morning all to covid oh wow yeah Oh, I'm so sorry. Is is it like spreading where you are right now, or we had uh so far in town here, I haven't heard anything, but um in other states, it's been so far picking up, mm -hmm. and they had this guy on TikTok. Well, if you have, those that don't get the COVID shot and get COVID and go to the emergency room and get stuck in the hospital, it's taking my wife out of the hospital. And, you know, it's like we understand she has stage three cancer, but you got to, you know, you got to understand people with COVID also need a room in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And 99.9% well, 90% of the people passing away has already had the COVID shot. Yeah, I, I understand that that is a thing in the U.S. Like, yeah. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. I they have about that, that um, after they get the shot, the mm -hmm. second shot, that is, they get COVID and can't get rid of it oh okay I My heard... says, thank you for all the prayers guys um she they they thinking that a lot of people like me do because i'm allergic to vaccines i can't get that shot mm -hmm. so i literally have to be on edge and really protect myself. That's why I hardly go anywhere. Mm -hmm. and if I do, even though it's not mandated anymore, I still wear my mask. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, for this guy to go on TikTok and tell everybody to go get the shot and leave his wife be in the hospital for treatment. I mean, I understand because I lost family members due to cancer. And now to COVID, I mean, he had the shot and he still had caught COVID. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's crazy. But it, that must be like the new version, the Delta version of it, or is, you know. No, oh, this is actually the Pfizer and. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm the Delta the, one, I don't know. I don't know what. what kind he had of covid yeah um, because the new they say that at least here they say that the new version of covid like the delta one uh, the vaccines doesn't really protect no it's not gonna that protect one. You now. So now they gotta come up with a new vaccine for delta mm -hmm. so you know it's crazy how people think that because you can you get the shot you you can't get it but you still can. Yep. Because to me, and I found this out through lot, plenty of research. You have at least three percent of a virus inside the vaccine that you take. Mm hmm. So say you take the flu shot. I did. I took the flu shot one year, and guess what? Two days later, guess what happened? Yep. I got the flu. Mm -hmm. And I had such a bad reaction in that area where they gave me the shot, I can't have that vaccine no more. So I got to really protect myself from a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. You know, with my immune system and being the way I am with fibromyalgia, vertigo, and all of that, and having my gallbladder gone, my appendix gone, you know, I got to really protect myself. But mm -hmm. it's part of life, you know. 
Yep, it is, unfortunately. Next prompt, number five. Use tiny clothespins. Do, do you think I have any? I don't. I need an alternative. Okay, I'll give you an alternative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the tiny ones are these, like regular size. Like, I, I don't oh, know. I'll show you the tiny ones. Hang I know. On. I, I've, I've had oh, them. Yes, them. They are like, see, <laughs> you know, I've, I've had those before, but I've used them. Here's what we call tiny clothespin. Yep. You know, mini version of these. But unfortunately, I don't mm -hmm. have any more. But they are so cute and tiny. I, I'm using them as soon as I get them. I'm like, oh, I need to use them. They are cute. I'm like, oh, okay. Now I know why they, like, you know, they, they cost a little bit here and... I mm -hmm. usually use them up within a couple of <laughs> weeks when I get them. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, I got them, yes. But, <laughs> okay, here's your alternative. Coffee dyed paper. Oh, that goes well with the typewriter, though. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, it was meant to be for you not to have the tiny clothes bins. Right? Yep. I do have some little bits and pieces of. Since I have this, I'm going to wait until. Oh, you know what I could do? Hmm. I can put this on and put the little clothespin hole in it. Ooh. Yep, I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's see, can I? I have I some know. somewhere, says Miss Talisha. Yep. <laughs> I kind of want to have. She says, I never took the flu shot, and I don't plan on taking this one. You see, there's a lot of people that t don't take it. Uh, to, due to different beliefs and you know I don't bl I can't say it's, you know I blame them because they're going by what they feel is right I for sure have coffee dye paper <laughs> you sure about that Miss Talisha I have some somewhere that's one thing I didn't bring in my room you see, I brought them that up is, everything that's not in drawers into my why, spare room. Mm -hmm. That is why, you know, we have all these kind of running around thing going on with the prompts. Yep. And that right egg gives you good exercise, too. Yep. Can't say that properly. You know what prompt we haven't had for a while? What? Something from the kitchen. Oh, that but that was the thing that we had like quite a lot. Yeah, we had it for like a month straight, and now it's like two, three months later, we haven't had it for a bit. Mm -hmm. What? She has a box load of it. Box load of. Oh, she, you make oh, kids to me. Oh. I didn't know you make kits, girl. Post in the in, in our groups. You know, if you want, if you sell them, post them in our groups. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, see, I have no qualms about people selling in the group as long as y'all don't um overdo it with pricing and stuff like that. I have no qualms about selling in the group because I do it myself. So. <laughs> I can't be how they call it. Um, oh, how they call it when you say somebody can't do it, but you do it. Mm. 
I can hardly even say saying it in Swedish. So, oh, I totally understand what you mean. But oh, seriously, what you know where I'm go where I am? Yep, absolutely. I can't do it like that. I if I do something in my group, everybody can do it. I have no qualms about it. No problem. Okay. Are we ready for Trump number six? This is, I don't know about, yep. This is the coffee dye Ooh. paper card. It's kind of coming up to Red crumble. Page. Ooh. That is a nice one. I'm trying to find something here. Ugh. One, where are we? No, that's not it. Okay, scrapbook that'll be page, a part of a scrapbook page, I hope, because, hmm, let's see, let's see. I think I have something going on. Here's the link to my group. This one here is my group. I'm going to get Mrs. Gigi's right now. And here's Mrs. Gigi's. And I this is what we do here. If you have a group, let us know and we can put it in the chat. You know, group, a channel, something like that. Mm -hmm. We we are all a big fun community, so it's I mean used to be what's the use of just having them we can sit with you know, time to get this community together. Put together. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, you I'm are, Miss Talisha. Check and see. I mean, it's not time to break the community apart. It's time to put us together and yeah, help. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we can help grow channels. We can help grow groups um, and stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, if y'all want to sell, they can contact you directly. Just put the links in the groups and you're good to go. Just say, contact me with any, if you need any information. That's just all you have to do. Mm -hmm. If you have a live sale on your channel, put the link in the groups. Put it in the chat. We don't mind. Well, that is... That is what we are for, to like promote mm -hmm. one another. That's what we're here for. And I, I want a little bit of a cave. Okay. Ephemera is the final oh. one. Wow. You know, I'm still looking for the... the... And I spelled it wrong. <laughs> we all know what you mean. That's the... Yeah, but I hate No candy. Oh, wait a minute. Numbers, dots, color pencils, something vintage. Paint. No, um, Number five is tiny clothespins. Wait a minute. I'm missing no. something here. No, no, it's correct. The way that it's you... correct, guys. Yep, I'm missing candy. something. One, two, three. Ow. Four. It's stuck to my finger. Five. Okay. I'm the one that's wrong. <laughs> I admit it. I'm wrong. Yeah. Hi, Painty Girl. Five paint pen. You see, this is how it is when I get into a project. Okay, so this is six. Ooh. Seven. 
Well, we did eight prompts. Okay. Whatever. I know. One extra. Whatever. Yeah, but then the alternative is it's yeah. isn't the alternative the eighth the the you know the. So, what can I use on my ephemera? Oh, I know. I can use part of this map here. That it happens to be an owl's head. Oh. You do want that? Well, sorry, Mr. Owl, but I need you part of your head for my uh, thingy here. Hi, Miss Allison. Oh, hello, hello. Now, round. This is done. Now we get to. Um. Create with just scrap paper, so we can create whatever we feel. Like. So our prompts for the day: Hi, Miss Angie. Are number one, oh, number, number two is dots. Number three, color pencils. Number four, something vintage. Number five, paint pens. Wait a minute. We did nine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Six is tiny clothespins. Seven copy dyed oh, paper. That's alternative for that one. Yeah. Yeah. This is the alternative. So that's number six. Okay. We did eight. I was counting mm -hmm. the coffee dyed <laughs> scrapbook paper and ephemera. So that's that. Let me close this up. I'm I'm not into um, okay. Here is the horse. Oops. What? I just dropped it. And I'm gonna put my vintage lace on here and let it dry with my little pin holding it together. Make sure I got it on the right side. Even though I got the all clear, I'm still taking it uh, slow. So I'm not using Hold my glue gun. Probably not till next month before I start using my glue gun. Mm -hmm. That's when I start putting the journal together. Yeah. And I oh, I'm yeah, going the, to take the, the friends across the mile journal. Yes, ma'am. That's an open end uh, journal. I won't close that challenge. So anybody can uh, join it. It's open in. Ooh. I will not close it ever. Well, I haven't really looked into ephemera. Is it is an ephemera yeah. what I'm, I'm trying to create something strange here? I don't really know what, but. Okay. Let's put the tiny little pin, close pin right here. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. I do have a little project that I definitely want to do now. If you haven't got anything else planned. Before I get into crafting, I got to put a post on Facebook. I hate to do it live, but it's got to be done. Oh, regarding the... Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Things happen. That is like seriously, you know. I feel a little bit of a sad moment going on. 
Unfortunately, that is the light. I do have you know, I have so many things that I'd like, like to start. I found this big envelope. I wanted to create a fun cover. I have this as a blank, totally blank cover. And I have those things. Absolutely no problem at all, Lenji. Okay, that's done. Mm -hmm. Okay about that. I want to get it done while it's on my mind. Yep. Because I know after this, it's going to be like, it's gone. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought about making some uh, kind of a background paper for ATCs. That was what, what I was planning. Oh, and I like then I need, to have. I need to cut these out for my next, or uh, actually the last signature for my summer journal. I, Kind of on my to-do list, so this will be quick to cut these ones out. But I, I wanted to create a kind of a painted paper, gluey paper thing for the ABC. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take two of these papers, pages, and wash the tape them together. I'm going to put these back over here, get to my washi tape, and this is not all I have, trust me, I have a, uh, you know the dresser drawers, mm -hmm. I have that full of washi tape, can you say obsession? Oh wow, you know, you know, the only ones I have, literally, ser you know, seriously, the only <laughs> washi tapes I have are these. And uh, I got, you know, the happy mail thing. Mm -hmm. Swap these. These are literally the only things I have. Well, my problem was <laughs> I went to, this is a, uh, another reason I stay away from craft stores. It's because every time I go in, I either buy a new planner or I'm buying wash tape. Oh. Okay. So, I stay away from craft stores now. You know, I actually didn't see the fun of using washi tape at all. So, that is why I haven't got any or hardly any. See, I um, use it mostly for this or I use it for a border or I use it in my planner. I have it I use it many ways, so. Mm -hmm. It's fun. I, I realize it's kind of, you know, one of those things, they are kind of cheap. So it's one of those things like you well, can't really say it's like. Cheap it's Tim Holtz. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> those, those, that, that's, that's like. A, a special category of um, of washi, but usually you can get them kind of cheap. Those, mm -hmm. so apart from the, it's like, let's go to the store. I'll buy this washi, and I'll leave it at that. And you go back again a couple of weeks later. Oh, I'll get this washi tape and then I'll leave the store. 
Go back. Okay. What can I get today? All of a sudden, you got everything in your shopping cart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. so I try to stay away from Michaels and all that. The closest I'll get to a craft store is a craft area in uh, Dollar Tree. <laughs> that's oh. that's my dot my uh, craft store. <laughs> yeah, Craft Smart. That is kind of the same for me. I have uh, our dollar store, and you know, with the prices and things. You kind of go there and um, then realize it's like, okay, I had like two things on my list. And then you come up. That with wasn't what product. I came home with. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so. Miss hmm. <laughs> Alicia said that's how it is with stamps. Oh, with, oh, you know, I, I have stamps, but I hardly use them. I actually used the stamp yesterday, um, but other than that, you know, I I don't know. Seriously, okay. I don't really know about the, the, I the stamp. I have lost thing. one of my paper trimmers. I used the stamp that I have, this one. I love the set, but I don't really know the name, mm -hmm. but I love the set with this stamp in it, um, but I never used them. See, that's why I'm redoing my my room because stuff that I haven't used, I'll put up for sale. And my stamp sets, a lot of them I haven't used, but I want to repackage them to where I can use them and I don't have to force my hand at trying to get them off the acetate they come on because they've been sitting so long so mm -hmm. that's why i came up with the idea that i did the video on oh yeah yeah with the organizing with the stamp mm -hmm. yeah. and some, i actually in in my case anyway you know you have so many things and then again you have the favorite things so it's kind of, uh, at least for me, I I forget that I have all these kinds of other things, and suddenly like, oh, you know, I found this, and then <laughs> I have to do a collaboration with stamps. <laughs> because... you know, one thing that I would love to do, we could actually do, you know, have like. Uh, you know the back side of um of napkins the white mm -hmm. part of them and stamp uh, stamp on them and like send them up in kind of a swap thing mm -hmm. because it's nice to they are lightweight and and then you get it, all kinds of uh, stuff hey, this from is other close people. I'll get to measuring anything this is how i measure Mark here, mark there, and it's measured. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything other than that. Uh oh, I lost my other mark. There it is. That's what happens when you do it on coffee dyed paper with a pencil. I'm thinking that I need to do. I talked about it yesterday too, okay. but I feel like I need some coffee dyed paper. So I'm going to make that after this night. Yeah, it's. I have to make everything closer to me. I have to put my monitor on the side of me. And put all my tools on the front, line up in the front of me. Because I can't reach anything. My arms are too short. 
My grandson's going to be 14 years old, and he towers over me. Oh, he does. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a, I don't know, am I like five, two, I think? No, five, I, you know, I have the metric system, so I'm kind of like, I have to think about how, yes, I'm not sure, I'm thinking five, two. Or uh, he just left to go to his dad's house, so he'll be gone for today, tomorrow. And he comes back Saturday because school starting on the twenty third. Mm -hmm. Soon, back to normal. Oh yeah, soon. I don't have to worry about. Getting away from my computer and somebody taking it over to play video games. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's a big video games nerd. He kept asking me, Nana, come on, do just one video game video with me. Just one. I'm going to pass the piece I just made. Oh, and the group. Oh, post. Duh. I've done it. Pass instead of post. Yeah. My dyslexia is coming out. For those, for those out. of you wondering, I'm cutting, I've made these myself. I'm cutting them out and putting them in on, on the dates. Like I've done here. I have mm -hmm. my little... little mini junk journal, daily journal kind of thing going. You need to make a printable with those numbers so I can have them for my planner for next year. Yeah, I think I have I have put at least one or two <laughs> in, in my, I think I have one or two in the group. My handwriting literally, and I am not joking, is a, a doctor's handwriting. And this didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Cockendola. <laughs> the bottom is too low, uh, not up high enough, but I got a way to fix that. Don't worry. Oh, so, yes, this, this is somebody, a chunky. I don't know what it was. Genevieve, you know Genevieve? No, I don't know her. She designs her own uh, carnivals too for albums and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, and I mean, it, that's her job. Literally, it's her job. Oh, is it? And somebody uh commented under a root comment underneath one of her videos. Oh no, we don't like that. I mean, they don't no. get it. She's twenty four seven designing the albums for people. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, I understand her frustration. I mean, it's mm -hmm. hard because I want, I sit here and I get frustrated because I haven't drawn in years and I'm trying to get back into it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, this is this, this is that, you know, let it be. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to do that when you got people leaving rude and insensitive comments mm -mm -mm. on a video. Don't listen to don't listen to it seriously because you know I, this is why I have this my daily journal. I have you know a little bit of journaling. Mm -hmm. I made these kinds of day things for just for my own exactly. Thing. You know I I make it just for fun and you know. I mean that's it, what we all tell we. Well, I'll tell her, don't worry about them. Don't give them the time of day. Don't give them the acknowledgement. Don't give them anything because the, you give them a mile, they'll take, a, you give them one inch, put it that way. They'll take mm -hmm. a mile. I get comments like that, but I don't say anything. I just, by Felicia. Yep. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is, is, I have a great great grandmother named Felicia. 
No. <laughs> you know, as, as you can also, see, the, you know, it, it's kind of me just having fun with all, with this kind of thing. I don't have any kids, but have to take care of my great nephews, 12, 10, and whoa. Oh. She's got two preteens in her house. Oh, girl. Mm -hmm. Prayers to you because. You, you know, I, I had quite a, a few of them myself. You know, I have my 10 year old, I have my soon to be 11. I have my 12 year old who just turned 12. And then I have my 14. He, she just turned 14. And then my it's 17. Hard. And, 17 and 18. <laughs> or, yeah. I had all three of my girls teens at the same time. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, raging, when they say raging hormones, believe it. It is not a fun thing, <laughs> especially with girls. <laughs> you no. know, they are kind of. <clears throat> but they learn through the years and in life to start getting along. To help each other out when needed and stuff like that. Yep. So I give props to them for doing that. Yeah. You know, this is going to be my ATC ba background thing. I lost one of my trimmers and I can't, don't know where it went to. Wow. I need that small one because the the one I just had on my desk is way too big. Well, Fiskers, I gotta look up for another small trimmer just in case. I want to get the one like uh, Pink Poodle and all of them have, like Daisy has the the big one. Oh yeah, but the one where you don't have to sharpen the blade, change the blades all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would, that would good be good for nice. me, but that I've got a lot of people nice. that told me don't do it because it's really heavy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't, I mean, with my hands, I can leave it set up, set on my desk in an area to where I just reach over and cut what I got to cut. I have no problem with that, but they're a hundred and seven dollars. Oh yeah, and okay. that is where the, okay. the problem but starts. With, with I'm that. gonna show y'all how I make my pockets to where I can fit a little bit more than just two little things in it. This long enough? Oh yeah. See, I tell y'all, this is how I measure things. You know, <laughs> you do you. That I is how I. I don't worry about what nobody says. I used to let it get to me. Oh my God, Miss Talisha, you've got to be kidding! Two fifteen-year-olds, an eleven, a ten, and a nine, and a four. Ooh. Yep. I feel you. I feel you too. And a dog. And a four year old dog. <laughs> yeah. I feel for you. I mm -hmm. feel you. Girl. Now I know why you need crafting. Mm hmm I feel you. Has has Louisiana started school yet? I know my niece said they have. Are they starting this week or something? They already started, I think, last week. Oh, they did? Yeah. They started since last week. I think. I know the part where I come from. Yeah, they see they started last Friday. The thing is, is they don't get snow and stuff like that. So they don't have very many snow days or whatever. So they can get yeah. off, you know. 
I'm thinking this snow. What what is it exactly? The snow days. Snow days is when we, we have like a lot of snow, and they call for a certain amount, and the buses can't go up because the town I live in is all hills, right? Uh huh. So they try to get it to where it do, wouldn't do the snow kids a get lot. the day off or something? Yeah, they get the whole day off of school. Sometimes it's three days, sometimes it's one. It all depends on how much snow we get. There's one oh. year they had two days off because we had a foot of snow. And let me tell you, when I say a foot, we almost had a yard. Because I could put my yardstick in the snow. Uh, okay, yeah, because, you know, I was thinking, like, here in Sweden, we have we have a lot of snow when it when it's snowing you have a lot of them so you know if we couldn't have those snow days because that would be like every day <laughs> you know winter time so they they mm -hmm. give them like five days worth of snow days here and oh, okay. after those five days are used up they don't get any more if but they go over the five days and they still have to go to school they have to make up those days before school can end. Oh, okay. So it's like they can go. Uh, Louisiana got a hurricane. Got yeah, you see, Louisiana has hurricane days. I'm not from Louisiana. I'm from Georgia. But I traveled all my life. Uh, of my sixteen years here. It snowed twice. Once, yeah. I mean, in, in some southern states, they will, if they have not even an inch, they can have a dusting of snow, they will close. Oh, wow. Yes. But that's the south. Yeah. So, you know, it's different everywhere. Three years ago, I did, and my dog loved it. Oh, yeah. I mean, the kids and the animals love it, but mm -hmm. when they close an entire state because they had, like, a dusting of snow, then, hmm, got to be yeah, something wrong like, there. To, to me, that is kind of strange because if, if um, that would be here, you know, we wouldn't be working or going to school for like five months. <laughs> so, like, you know, some part, you know, we're not exactly where I live, a little bit further north in Sweden. It's kind of like Alaska. So, mm -hmm. so that see, is, if, you want to, yeah, if you want to kind of like compare to, to, to something, it's kind of like Alaska. Trust me, when my kids started going to school and I heard, oh, they don't have, they having a snow day today. I'm like, what the crack is a snow day? Because when I first, when I had been up here, my oldest had just started preschool and I heard over the, on the news that they were having a snow day. I'm like, never heard of that. <laughs> what is that? Mm -hmm. So I know what you're feeling. Yep. <laughs> but they get five of them every school year. And if they use them all up, they have to make them up. So mm -hmm. they can go to school all the way until the middle of June here. Oh, okay. But it's it happens sometimes. But it's not all the time that it happens. Mm -hmm. So late, it's like in uh, 2010. Girl, mm -hmm. I was ready to hit Louisiana back up. One week we had a snowstorm. Next week we had an ice storm. The following week, we had a hurricane, which we never get on the East Coast, right? Mm-hmm. The week after that, we had tornado. 
week after that, we had an earthquake. Oh, you know, things like that, earthquakes, tornadoes, and things. We don't have that in Sweden. The thing is, is that when the tornado hit, the day it, was, it hit, it was supposed to hit till 3 o'clock that afternoon, right? So mm -hmm. I called my middle daughter and her boyfriend at the time at work and told them, be ready for 1 o'clock, 1.30. I'll pick you, all, you guys up from work mm -hmm. because of the bad weather that we're getting, the tornadoes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, on my way back home, guess who got stuck in the eye of the tornado? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. wow. <gasps> my oldest daughter called me. Did you get hit by a tornado yet? I said, I'm in the middle of it right now. Record it. Record. I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> right after oh. she said that, a dude on a motorcycle pulls up on the side of me. I kid you not. Um, oh. On a motorcycle. I'm like speechless. That is like seriously dangerous. <laughs> oh, wow. you see, everybody uh, didn't know till last minute about the tornado. So it's like everybody was at work, everybody was getting ready, you know, doing whatever. Mm -hmm. But then they started to close down everywhere because of the the tornado, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> everybody was starting to go home. So it's like, yeah, of course, like it's like, you either get it or you don't get it, mm -hmm. you know? And when we got it, we got it. We had those issues. Yeah. I mean, a lot of places have them, but the East Coast here, it's not equipped for stuff like that. The ice storms, yeah. Tornadoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes, no. Now. We had, according to uh, the Weather Channel and FEMA, mm -hmm. we had two tornadoes hit in one day, and one happened to hit right above my head, and I was sitting at my computer when it hit. Uh, and then when we had the earthquakes, we had four four earthquakes hit. I'm like, man, wow. where did they coming from? I moved away. I don't want to go move to California because of earthquakes. I come mm -hmm. here, they have them here too. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm like, no. It's like my first year in Massachusetts, right? Mm -hmm. We had Hurricane Bob. The oh. first year we moved here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh-oh. I think I jinxed this state by bringing the hurricane with me. <laughs> no, you don't want that. But unfortunately, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but be, uh, being at the East Coast, never, never seen a hurricane. You would see people outside in the hurricane watching it i'm like are you mm -hmm. being delusional I'm like, no. I'm like they gotta be out of their mind yeah those are the worst things to uh to watch but yeah. they seem to definitely. have fun. definitely like that is like seriously that is dangerous yeah I'm like, um, like, working on a journal page, and mm -hmm. Mrs. Gigi's working on, I don't uh, know, the background for ATC. I'm thinking, okay, kind of. I don't, I'm not sure, 100% sure, but I'm um, that is, I'm kind of because, and I'm going to show you right now. I found, let's see. And being this a pattern. military brat, you know, it's not that easy. Oh, you, you are, you mean? I'm a military brat. Oh, born God. and raised. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm saying every, like, Memorial Day, Labor Day, or whatever, I'm always putting those posts up on my 
chat on my either on my channel or on my page because my yeah. dad was in the military. Mm -hmm. My oldest daughter wanted to take over that role, and she tried to join the Army, no, the Marines. But mm -hmm. the Marine guy that did her exam screwed up her exam. He did? Yeah. A... So now she can't join the military ever. What? Um, oh. Are they allowed to do that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Because the guy, and come to find out, somebody at, <laughs> I find this kind of funny, because somebody at one of the muffler shops here uh, found that out, and yeah, I can guarantee you, his car was no more when they found out what he'd done. Because hmm. that... This town, you mess with one person, a lot of times you're messing with the whole freaking town. Well, it, it's kind of like, you know, it, it, this it, it's not really a town where I live. It's more like a little village, but mm -hmm. you know, every everyone knows everyone. So, Well, it's like um, they say, it takes a village to raise a kid. It's true. Mm-hmm. It's true. When they say it, believe it. It does take a uh -huh. Miss Talisha, thank you, Mom, for her services for me. She says her mom was in the military for 20 years. Oh. Yeah, that is... Welcome back, welcome back, Miss Angie. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. You know, Sweden hasn't really been in wars or anything like that, so the military for us, it's, you, you know, we do have a military, you know, it, it, it's some things, some of those it's things that we don't really talk everywhere. about much. <laughs> Um, we do have it, but it's like uh, it's a very small military, you know, the, those of who are really working military, mm -hmm. that's a very uh, small. Yeah, want to hear a funny story? Yep. I'm when I was 13, funny. I used to help my mom. When I was younger, I would help my mom clean the offices of the military. Ooh. Right, <laughs> and one guy in the navy and one in the army tried to recruit me at the age of thirteen. <gasps> I'm like, are you what? crazy? What? They was joking around with me, but every time they asked my mom if they could recruit me, my mom said, "Take her." <laughs> oh, I'm like, wow. seriously. I'm like literally yelling at my mom inside the the office branch. And she's like, go ahead, take her. I'm like, really? But, uh, what's the, the, there must be some kind of age. Um, you have to be 18 in order to, oh. uh, mm -hmm. in order to enlist. Oh, okay. So he says, well, I'll list you now. When you're 18, then we'll deploy you. I'm like, uh, no. Mm -hmm. well, my husband my oldest daughter there. wanted to follow in my dad's footsteps and join the Marines. Mm -hmm. but that Marine dude messed her up when he did that with her exam. Mm-hmm. No, my, yeah, man, my... would she ever so mad? Oh, I got messages coming from everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Hmm. Yeah, my my husband, he was actually into um, joining the the UN for 
couple of years. So, but that is as close as the military thing going in, in for me. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I love the military. I mean, the way they protect and serve us is amazeballs. Mm -hmm. And I give them props for doing what they do. Yeah, I wouldn't do you know? some. Um, I can understand like going out there for several months or years. Like that is a I, that amazes me. You know, it's like they sacrifice a lot to protect this country. And some people don't appreciate that. And when I see them disrespecting the military and mm -mm, no, you're not going to do that in my presence. Sorry, Charlie. Mm -hmm. That don't that don't fly with me my grandson uh when he was in elementary school they had a couple of military service people go to his school for i don't remember what day it was they have a name for it but i couldn't i don't remember whoa you like my guest check oh um I don't remember what they named the day, but it was like servicemen and women were there. They had the Army, Navy, Marines, Job Corps, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. They had the seamen, they had. Oh, was it like a group, group day for. And he took pictures with some of them. Mm hmm. And, uh,. <laughs> He says one day he wants to do that. I'm like, you can take after your great grandfather. He did it. If you want to do it, go for it. I'm not going to say nothing. Mm -hmm. And then, especially. When coming from a military family like yours, and you know, I can totally understand. I mean, I love, I mean, when I hear people that have family members in the military, the first thing I say, thank them for their service. You know, no matter what country or what state they're from, I thank them for their service. Yeah. You know, because to me, the bravery and courageousness that they bring and that they give to this country is amazing. So, Disrespect the military and find out how fast Vanessa is going to get you back. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about it. I don't go for that kind of stuff. I mean, I've seen them in person here in town dis disrespect the military. I'm like, why don't you go give it a shot? Yeah. Go and list and find out what they do and how they protect this country and your freedom. Mm -mm. You're not gonna do that on my watch, buddy. Sorry. It don't work that way. Yeah, especially like talking about them and have no experience whatsoever themselves. <laughs> you know, I can only imagine. And some parents mm -hmm. don't even tell their kids I mean, literally, I want it this way, so I'm going to tuck, no, I'm going to cut this part off, but 
You want to disrespect them like that? And I see it? Huh. Mm -hmm. You're going through the end of it. I uh, used to go with my kids and do the parades that, that they are were honoring the military in the town I live in. Mm -hmm. And my kids loved it. They used to throw candy out the window and all that. Yep. And I mean, even myself, I love driving in it. They had all the, the military, every military branch in it. And the people that had like the Jeeps and stuff like that mm -hmm. is the ones that carried the military people. Mm -hmm. yep. And some of the stuff that these people would pull in the parade was hilarious. Hi, Miss Brenda. Oh, hello. But there's no way I'm going to let you, not even an elderly person. I even, in, in the store, we yell at my grandkids when they disrespect people. I don't like that. Yeah, but, you know, seriously, that is, I don't have words for it, really. Like I tell my kids, bro, you in this world? I can take you out. Yep. Exactly. I literally was raised on those words. Literally. Every time I turned around, I would hear from my mom, I brought you in this world? I can take you out. And let me tell you, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Yeah, but but it it's like that. It, it, I, you know, yeah. I, I I agree with those words. It is, you know, oh, kind of like let's not go there. But you know, teens now, and now now I'm feeling like I'm really really old when saying this. But teens now, seriously. <laughs> well, I can <laughs> officially say that I'm old because all my kids are in their thirties. Mm -hmm. Everyone, all three of them. You know, it's. I don't even have words for the things. I mean, you'll see on. kids, teenagers at that, go in the store and disrespect an elderly person. And I'm like, really, people? That's a big no. That's not like you don't do that. That's... Mm -mm. Oh, look. My guest check fits, but it's too long. But I want to make more copies of this before I put it in a journal. <laughs> oh, you, you're smart. I, I'm just gluing, you know, I'm just cutting it up, gluing it in, like, you know. See, now, this <laughs> is a journal uh, piece right here. Nope, too long. We'll put you in here. Now, what can we put in this pocket? Y'all gonna see me using things from different places. I use some from uh, Tsunami Rose, some from uh, a group that I'm in, some from, uh, what's her name? She Shed Crafts. Um, I don't hold back, I use everything. Every printable that I can get, I will use, literally at some point use oh this would go good in this pocket yeah but i don't deal with people like that mm -hmm. there's a lady one time i was in walmart 
And man, let me tell you, I got the dirtiest look when I walked out of Walmart. Because all the workers, including customers, heard her threatening to bare butt whip her kids in the store. I'm like, wow. Hmm. So, um, they called the cops, and mm-hmm. none of the workers could identify the lady. Yeah. So, I told one of the uh, one of the workers comes up to me and asks me, "Can you identify the woman that threatened her kids inside?" I said, "Yeah, mm-hmm. give me the put. Let me talk to the police. I'll talk. I'll identify her." Mm-hmm. And as soon as I started talking to the cops at the service desk, that lady was just coming out from paying her, uh, for her items. And they caught her right there. Mm -hmm. And I, we walked out and man, I got the dirtiest look. It's like they say, if looks could kill, I would have yep. been shot three times by that same lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. she gave me the look. She didn't even know it was me that identified her, but I got a, I got the st- the death stare. It's what they call it. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm like, oh boy. But you're not going to mm-hmm. sit in a store and threaten some kids because they wanted something and you didn't want to give it to them. Nope. Yes. I mean, you can clearly hear her all the way from the back of Walmart. And I was like in the toy section. That's how loud she was. And I'm like, wow, I wonder how loud it is when she's at home, how it echoes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, boy. And I fell for those kids. I don't. I haven't heard anything about it. So I don't know if they took the kids away from her mm-hmm. or not. But she made the mistake at, at, the, at Walmart. My kids, I do what I want with them. I'm like, whoops. Oh, not good to tell a cop, lady. Look at this. I love this. Oh, wow. That's a printable. I don't remember. I got it from a group that I'm in. Wow. I they they post three all. kids. This would be good. For journaling, if I what if they were to take this part here off mm-hmm. and put the little curve pieces more here, and then put her shrink her a little and cut the date off and the number here, it would have been perfect for journaling case. But I also got these two. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I think I've seen See? them somewhere. Like. These all came from a group that I'm in. The two oh, ladies. Okay. The oh, that that is why I've seen. I think I'm. Am I in the same? Group? Uh, TLC something yeah, like TLC, that. Yeah, uh, TLC create win win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I tell my kids before we go to the store, don't ask for anything, don't touch anything, because it's hard enough for me to go in the store. And not pick up that I know, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. It's like I have a specific thing on my list. Go for it. Get out. Yep. Like yesterday, I went to Walmart because we were looking for something to clean the basement with. Right? I'm like, okay, I got everything I want in my basket. Let's go. I yep. wasn't playing. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. Yeah. 
mean, there is, you know, especially with a lot of kids in the family, kind of feels like if you give something extra to one, you have to give it to the others too, of course. So I totally understand. And with this thing that I'm doing, I don't really know what I don't really know what I'm doing or what I'm going to use it for, and I don't know if it's going to cut up nice or disaster. Just gluing, gluing, and having fun. Getting all gluey all over, so. Hope she didn't get any more bad news. Don't like bad, bad news. Let's see, I need to put it there. And then the measurement begins. Hello, Linda. Welcome, welcome. Oh, the kids are enablers. Oh, that's a hard one. You know what with this I thought like what if I want to make a cover instead of just no 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 <laughs> you know my brain is like playing tricks on me sometimes with things I said it was going to be ATC background thing so that is what it's going to be Is if I change my mind. No. When when Vanessa is gone, I can show you. I did a little quick. I have like an hour live on Thursdays on my channel. I did this glue book. Kind of challenge to me five pages from a random magazine using you know those specific five pages pages cutting out things and and gluing in my in this case a happy an old happy you know planner journal hi miss linda oh welcome back i hope it wasn't like a bad no, 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 no. I'm a physical therapist. Oh, they, they okay. finally, usually they take a week or two to give you your appointments for PT. Mm -hmm. I guess my doctor must have not only emailed them, and she must have also called them because the last time she wanted me to do physical therapy, they didn't call me for like a month after the, I had my surgery. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wanted me to do PT, uh, physical therapy a week, uh, two weeks after I had the surgery. And when the two weeks was up to get the stitches out, that's when she wanted mm -hmm. me to do it. Yep. Thank you, Miss Talisha. But that's all it was. Nothing bad. No, yeah. I hate taking calls in the middle of a live, though. Mm hmm. But if I don't, if I don't take it when I get it, huh? You never, you never know the next time they will call. That's the thing, so. No, they'll take another week before they call me back. Mm hmm That's how they are. Huh. I don't know what else I want to put on her. I know I'm around my corners a little bit. They look unplanished. Kind of a feeling like, you know, 
I don't know if you heard, but I felt like in a short little moment there that I wanted to make this a cover instead of the ATC cards. <laughs> yeah. So, but then again, I was like, no. I like I that background to, though. I have to go with what I told myself at the beginning of all this. And now it's getting all gooey. This is going to be for my friends across the miles junk journal. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This is going to be one of the pages. I don't know how many I have to make because I don't know how big the book's going to be. I think I still have a few more entries for it coming in. Yep. But like I said earlier, it's an open-ended uh, thing, so they can come in at any, you know, any given time. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I want to place these thinking that I want to place this one down at the bottom here and cut. What do you think? It's so. Oh, that is pretty. This is from Miss Talisa in my group. Oh. That is pretty. Have to go look. You know, this is ridiculous to me. I'm actually, you know, at my desk with a computer in front of me mm -hmm. with my phone on one side, the computer, and then a, an iPad. <laughs> so I tried something out before, but have to think about that some more. I'll be changing my computer around soon. And let's look into what she I always done. have my phone right next to me. And then I have an earpiece in my ear. My phone's on silent, but I can hear who's calling in my ear. Man. I need to make this a little bit smaller so I can fit it in one of the pockets. Let's see. Ooh. It was a really, really nice. Lisa. To me, I think the corners rounded gives it more of a finished look. Yep, absolutely. I'm on a round a round edge kick. <laughs> I'm rounding everything. Yeah, you know, I I didn't do that at the beginning of when I made things, but then I realized as you you know exactly like you know you want to have a finished look to it. It's it is nicer to have it rounded. So, am I going You're welcome, to... Mr. Lisa. It's always fun to see other people create, you know. That... And to show them <laughs> off on the live is even better. Yeah. Get them out there too, you know. Yeah. That's another thing I'm going to start doing on my channel. They post something in my group. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on, on my lives or in my videos. Give them recognition too. I mean, they deserve it. They're doing hard, some hard work. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm 
not this one. You know, you know I can understand that you don't want to have like your own YouTube with lives and things because it took me some actually a couple of years before i really decided on you know making it into the community exactly but it takes a it takes some uh getting used to when you do a channel yep Definitely. And it is a lot of work because there's a lot of behind the scenes that people don't see. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and mm -hmm. as I've talked about before, in the beginning at least, it feels kind of strange to just talk to yourself in a way. Mm -hmm. Because you're, you're just sitting there talking. And of course you have all the comments and things, but you know, it's, it's a little bit strange in the beginning. There's something that's always going to be strange about doing videos and stuff like that because of the way it is. I mean, you're always going to feel like you're talking to yourself or something like that. Even when I do a live, I like interacting with the audience. That's why I've been participating, going uh, anticipate, practicing going live once, once per week. Ninety eight percent of my videos have no talking that's a good thing you know miss talisa on wednesdays and thursdays if you want to come live with us you can absolutely you just ask for the link and we can put you in with us absolutely it, i mean to us it doesn't make a difference you know it it is a way of practicing for yourself too like exactly you know? You go live on somebody else's channel, it's like you're practicing for your own channel. Yeah. So you want to do that, we can do that. And, and I mean, anybody that wants to come live on me and Mrs. Gigi's live on Wednesday and uh, Thursday is more than welcome. Yeah. I don't know if you know, Talisa, but I have something called Friends Day on a Wednesday on my channel on Wednesday mm -hmm. mornings. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly, you know, what you, practicing and things, going live, chatting with friends and having fun. That's the the whole purpose on my Wednesday, Friends Day Wednesday. <laughs> and so I usually put up the link in the chat and it's just for you to click and join in. Mm -hmm. Um. it's a lot of fun i mean you're interacting you do things where you can have your audience a little audience interact with you i mean like y'all commenting in the chat we're not only talking to each other we also read the chat and chat with you guys yep When I first started going live, I'm like, <gasps> it wasn't easy to go live, but I did it. And I've been on YouTube for 10, almost 10 years. You're like one of those, you know, you, I'm like thinking about the YouTubers that have been like, I think it was 10, 20. Has YouTube ever been 15 years? No, not quite. I think 10, 12 years I've heard people going on internet, like on YouTube, that is. But there has been platforms before, but you know. I've you been on Blab, I've been on, um, you know, I've been live on Snapchat. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, 10 years. 10 years of doing planner videos, craft videos. Uh, I'm just getting into doing the haul videos. And, you know, now going live. I've been doing the live videos, but I just took a break from it because it got really overwhelming to be doing it all the time. Mm-hmm. 
And then especially I'm thinking like now we have all these crafting hops and things going on uh -huh. too. So it's called enablers. Yep. <laughs> and I'm one of them. Oops, my bad. I like that lady. I don't know if y'all seen this video. There's this lady that uh she's like a YouTube comedian, I call her. She goes on live the uh pre recorded video. YouTube made me buy this and this and this and this. I'm like, YouTube didn't make you do nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your choice to go buy everything that you see on YouTube. Yep. But it's funny how she words it, you know? Yeah, but then. Yeah, her room used to look like mine, but now her room is immaculate. I'm burnt out after doing one or a two week, two a week. I found so many new people on YouTube. I'm chatting up with, that's the way to do it though. That's the way you have to do it. Yeah. And then again, you have to decide for yourself, of course, if you want to have, you know, if you want to really have a community Mm -hmm. uh, you know with to me how you want to have it fun great. or if you want to do something about you know a really do a thing because at first for me it was like this is fun i just want to have it fun no nothing else no, nothing deep. what i'm gonna nothing start doing deep. is prepping all the uh lives of the thursdays with you and i'm gonna put all the links to them um, in the community on my community tab that way if they want they can join from the community tab it'd be yeah. easier you know and then i'm gonna set it up to where i have uh, my link tree with all my social media mm -hmm. and everything linked in a pin post along with the link to join us live mm -hmm. so i can do that i can put the link to join us live on my link tree and all they have to do is click that and scroll down and hit the one that says live and come live with us yeah i mean i have a link tree for a reason and instead of putting all those links you know in the chat or in the description box at the bottom of the videos or in the comment section i just do it on linktree and leave it at that and just pin my linktree link at the top of the chat which i forgot to do today but that's all right yep <laughs> you can't be on the top always that's that's all right that's the thing You know, of course, there are some days. It, this whole thing is fun, but it's, you know, there are some days. It's kind of hard. It's overwhelming some days. I mean, we have to plan it. We have to prepare it. It, it gets to that point. Yep. I mean, people that watch us live don't have the idea what we do in the background. So it's like, we have to sit here. We have to plan a, a project. We have to plan the live. We have to make sure we have all the supplies to go live, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you, talked about really the, have you talked anything about the live hop going on tomorrow? No, we okay. have, that's, that, thanks for the reminder. We have a live hop going on tomorrow with Mary LTA uh, here on YouTube. And what it is, is we have a theme uh, and it's do paper dolls, fabric dolls, or whatever. Um, it is? Yeah, this this month, it, it's, oh. you know, they have, 
She she says my thing is pinned at the top. No, I don't see it. Oh no, it's not pinned at the top. I forgot to pin my wings today. Um, to finish saying, me and Mrs. Gigi is um doing a hop with Mary Altia. There is, I think, Beth Schuler. There's me, Mrs. Gigi, Beth Schuler, Mary Altia, and a few other ladies that are doing a hashtag art for time uh, for art. Yeah, it's time, time for, art. for art, like number for art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we're doing a hop tomorrow, and the theme is uh. Either paper dolls, fabric dolls, or what other kind of dolls? Do the, the, the theme is doll. Yeah. Doll, like you. So you can do whatever you want, craft wise, something doll. Like, you know. So there are actually, the, the hop is divided into two parts. Yep. There is a morning hop. And in the morning hop, there are like one, one, two, three, four people. Mm. Uh, and they have videos that there are 30 minutes video, a lot of live streams, really, or premieres. Um, and then there is an evening part. And so it starts central time. It is with Mary herself, 5.45 Central. Yeah, like she 5.45 uh, a.m., that is. Uh, and then it goes mm -hmm. on during the day. And then, you know, in the middle of the day, uh, it's a break. And then it starts 4.05 uh -huh. Central p.m at the Mary Altier again and then goes on to like one like one two three four five six seven people six no eight people including myself uh during you know the, the afternoon and evening for me I come on at seven ten central standard time but for me it's eight ten well eight fifteen actually because they don't have 810 on the schedule for premiere. Mm -hmm. So uh, tomorrow morning, there's Mary that's going to start with the introduction at 5.45 a.m. Central Standard Time, which is about, I think, 6.45 Eastern Standard Time. Yep. yep and then is. Janet Nash comes on at 6 o'clock. Tanya McGuire comes on at 6.30. 6.35, so it's like a five-minute break in between each one. I come on at 8.15 instead of 8.10 Eastern Standard Time. And then at 7.45 Central, uh, Kathy Burke comes on, and that's the morning. And then tomorrow night starts off with at 4.05 Central Time. Starts off with Mary in, doing the introduction to the evening hop. And then you have Carol McDonald at 4.25. 5 o'clock is Deb Farrell. Uh, 5.40 to 6.10 is Laurie, Painty Girl, Lee. And then Beth Shula comes on at 6.15 to 6.45. That's all Central Standard. Yeah. Uh, Aunt Laura comes on at 6.50 to 7.20. 7.25 to 7.55 is Aunt Beck. Mrs. Gigi comes on tomorrow, 8.10 to 8.45. Uh, 8.40, no, 8.40, I mean. 8.45 mm -hmm. to 9.15 is Aaron Klossner. And then at, the, at 9.20, it's Mary Altier again closing out the hop. And she closes out both hops, so... The morning and the, the evening one. Yeah. So it's going to be a fun-filled night tomorrow night. Fun. Yeah. 
tale. And, uh, and you know what? I, I don't want to really say it, but for me, it's 8, 10 central time, mm -hmm. US. But, you know, as I am in Sweden, it's 3 o'clock in the middle of the night for me. So <laughs> that is going to be fun. <laughs> You could be delusional at that time. Liz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have myself a Friday party, three o'clock in the middle of the night. <laughs> so you better have you a, not a cup of coffee, a pot of coffee. Yep. Absolutely. So you, you better know, have that carry <laughs> right on your desk. <laughs> yeah. I, I said it was okay because it you know it's fr it's, it's fun, Friday you know? Friday Saturday so it's no problem for exactly. me. Exactly. But but it if it would have been like in the middle of the week it would have been oh impossible. that would have been hard. Mm -hmm. That would have been impossible for me. So. <laughs> but it's going it's to be, gonna be a fun. lot of fun tomorrow. Yep, absolutely. And as you can see now, I have cut my uh, thingy that I made the the paper into ATC sized um, cards. So oh, she's gonna be putting her kids on the bus when I come on. When I, it's my turn tomorrow. Mine's a premiere, so I'll be chatting along with you guys in the chat box. It's gonna be fun. Mm hmm I do when I do the house, I do premieres because I like to interact with the uh people in the chat. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun to do, you know? And it's gonna be totally peaceful for me tomorrow. Because mm -hmm. my grandson's at his dad's. Nobody's gonna be home. So Oh. Whoop whoop. This would be the oh. first Friday I do a hop. And it's quiet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's my first time attending this hop. I have done a couple of video hops before, but this live hop thing, it's new to me. It's going to be. See, I don't mind in premieres because it's easier for me. In fact, mm -hmm. I got to. Oh, oops. I got to record that video today. Re record it because the one I have is from. A video that I did uh, about a month ago, and yeah. I don't mention. Well, I can always mention in the chat who's next, you know, because it doesn't yeah. say the video itself who's next. Yeah. So I can say it in the chat who's next. Yeah, you can like pin it in the chat too. So yeah. I don't have it. I mean, what I'm going to do is take the full list of who's in the morning and pin it in that chat box. I'm gonna mm -hmm. do that today because I already have the premiere set up. I can go back in and put pin that in the chat. Yep. So that's not a problem for me. So, I mean, for like you coming on late, I think that would be a good thing for you to put all the links in one area and pin it to the top of the chat that way yeah uh, of course yeah. i'll be watching because i'm like you know with, to... with the live streams mary wants it to be in the the description box so yeah well mine is in the description box is going to be pinned to the chat and then it's going to be in the comment section also so it's going to be in all three places they can catch it whatever Mm -hmm. you know, I don't have no issues with doing it that way. Yeah. You know, if you like pin the next one, that's the most important, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but it's going I mean, to be really fun, fun, fun. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a fun filled morning and a fun filled evening with this hop. Yeah, I mean, this is my second hop with Mary, and oh, I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Because to come, I wait for her theme, and then I'm like going crazy through my craft room, trying to figure out what I can use to make the project that with the theme that she's given, and mm -hmm. mine 
I'm gonna give y'all a little sneak peek. Mine's a church doll. Mm -hmm. But done with a different uh, a twist. They usually knot the arms over here at the head. I'm not gonna knot the head, the arms. In the video, y'all gonna see the arms are already knotted. But in this one, I had recorded this one, right? Got all the way through the video. When I went mm -hmm. to listen back, it only recorded the ending. It oh. cut out from the time I started making the doll till the end. Here's what it showed. That's it. Yeah, that but you couldn't do like a it. voiceover? No, I couldn't do a voiceover because it cut all the process out of it. Oh. This this is the only part that y'all y'all would have seen in the video. And I didn't want to re-record it because it took me a while to record the, what I was doing. So I found my other video and I linked it as a um, a premiere for mm -hmm. tomorrow night. Yep. You know, so, I, I've made I've me. made a, a or I'm so, making actually a couple of friends for mine. You know that. Um, yeah, I love those. I have to try to make those. That that's like the skeleton of the doll. This is was it all wire? It. Yeah, it's wire. <laughs> I've seen a school teacher make one on TikTok. Yeah, you, you know what? This is wire. This is like regular uh, cotton that you have, like you know. Mm -hmm. you know th this. Um, and then Basically, you, have, you can make them any size you want. Yeah, and then in my case, I'm using flower binding tape, but you could take like, um, oh, yeah, I mean, ma masking tape would want. be one thing. And I've uh, like put the head on this one, but I'm, I'm, I'm making a little family. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we do, we, we get the inspiration, and like me with this, I did my own twist, the original doll doesn't have lace here, doesn't have these ties. And I'm thinking I'm gonna uh, try somehow to put a little halo on the top of her head in my next, in the next one that I do. Cause I'm coming up with a lot of ideas on how to, you know, how to do them different ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, I even have the person who inspired me to do that. <laughs> So I have that on the video and oh. I just love making them. I mean, they're a lot of fun. I mean, all it is is like the head is all cotton. It's a vintage hanky. That technically that's all the uh, doll is, right? Is just the cotton and the hanky, right? But I added on one that my granddaughter took, the one y'all gonna see in this video. I put some small late uh, Chinese braid around her neck and made it like a little choker. Mm -hmm. And then I put the braid, the Chinese braid, all the way from here around, coming up over here, right? And then I mean, I'm thinking of different ways to do them. Okay, Miss Candy, good luck. Keep us updated, please. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a lot of fun doing different projects. Now that I got the all go to be crafting again, I'm mm -hmm. happy. Yeah, it's I'm fun. Happy. It's really, really fun. Because all I've been doing the whole time that uh, those are pretty. That yeah. I've been down and healing uh is taking one hand at a time taking a little by little to the other room and sorting it out mm -hmm. so i've been little by little i mean that's all i can do right now is little by little yep so 
I got that almost all done. I just got a few more little piles to get rid of. And my room is, well, not completely done because I still got my desk to deal with. Yeah, but it would, it will be nice when it's done and you mm -hmm. can finally, like, find everything. Well, no, <laughs> then I got to go through all the drawers and sort everything by, like, the style, like the Chinese braid and do a, uh, make a um, divider for it. So I won't be flipping through everything in the drawer. Oh, I'm doing okay. it little by little, but yep, it's gonna get done the way I want it to be when it's done. I'm not in no rush to get it, you know, to get it all the way done in a matter of months. I'm in no rush for that. No, I'm not going to kill myself to do that. No. I'd rather sell it all and, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you could do. Like sell, have like a... Um, have a good day, Miss Talisha. Thing. See you tomorrow morning. Have a good day. Thank you for coming by. So, we're going to say bye for now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that big red subscribe button down below. And subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified of when I upload content or when we go live. Like today. Mm -hmm. Or when I do a premiere like tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, Please be safe. Stay crafty, be crafty, stay safe, be safe. God bless you all. Prayers to everyone. Love, light, and laughter to all. And bye-bye for now. Bye.